What's up, y'all? My name is Robert Glasper. I'm one third of August Green. What up? My name is Kareem Riggins, part of the group Classic August Green. What's up, y'all? My name is Common, one other third of August Green. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we gon' we gonna let y'all know how the song Optimistic got created. Um, well, first of all, Optimistic, the version we did was inspired by the original version, which was done by Sounds of Blackness, um, written by Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. Right? Oh, yeah. They both yep. wrote that. Uh, it was a powerful song that came out in the in the 90s, early 90s, and one day we were just in the studio cooking up some August Green stuff, and um, we were sitting in the live room, and I remember Rob saying something about how much he loved that song, Optimistic, and then kind of, I started talking about how I loved it, and Kareem was like, man, it's one of one yeah. of the favorite songs, and uh, we just was like, man, we, we should do a remake of it. And, it. and for me, it was really a new thought because being a hip hop artist, you never attempt remakes. But with August Green, like you know, because we a band that just can do whatever we choose, it just was. Man, it was like the, the heavens open. Like, damn, we can't do a remake. So mm -hmm. then Rob suggested somebody. I not suggested Brandy to sing it. Cause the thing about that song, it, it transcends, kind of transcends genre in a way. Because when it came out. Everybody loved the song, you know what I mean? And it, it's it's kind of it's kind of a gospel song, but not really. Yeah. It's just inspirational, you know what I mean? So everybody from hip hop to to R and B to gospel, you know, they all love the song. So um, I thought of getting Brandy to to sing it, you know what I mean? Because she's she's one of those voices that everybody loves. She has a timeless voice, and um, you know, I think I thought people would appreciate her. So. You know, we hit her up, and she did she find out the next day. Or <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah. To be honest, at one point we was thinking like having Brandy be one of the singers. Right. But once, that's right. But then once she she smashed, it. she sang and she came to the studio. We was man. Yeah. We was at Electric Lady, and she started doing her thing. Like she was just kind of vibing before we got to it. And yeah. then once she got started recording, it was like, well, she can do the whole. Yeah, it was a rap. We were yeah trying to have different vocalists person do a verse here of course you know kind of mix it up yeah. you know we all the world fashion and stuff like that. but, <laughs> but uh, yeah when she started it was, it was a wrap yeah for sure and so and then the next the next process of making a remix of the remake <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> we started uh we we did a remix of the song and we added Kiara Shear from Detroit <clears throat> incredible singer BJ the Chicago kid um, we wanted to add something to, you know, it's like our ode to the song, so it's just like a tribute to the brothers that made the song, and we did that. And we, we talked about Kirk. recording Kiara in Detroit. Yeah, well, so, but when we talked about it, because it's funny how we, when we talk about things and watching them come true, because we're in the Electric Lady, we're talking about we should do a remix of this, yeah. and then we were like, I was like, we should get Kiara Shea, and, and we were like, let's get BJ Chicago Kid. And then you was even like, well, we can, I can call Kirk Franklin, and yeah. you called him. Yeah, yeah, we called him. In that moment, I was like, yo, can you get on this? And so everybody ended up getting on the getting on the joint, you know, getting on the song. So it features all of them. And so what happened was, I happened to I happened to be in Chicago. Kiara happened to be in Detroit, so I flew from Chicago to Detroit to record to record her vocal. And that was like the only day she could do it. It was like, it she just smashed it. The timing worked out perfectly, you know what I mean? So yeah, so I flew to Detroit so she could do her vocal there. And uh, and then I came back and BJ came to New York. Yeah, BJ came. For a few hours, got back on the plane. Yeah, <laughs> and then Kurt Franklin was like, yo, he was just down to do it. He, was, he laid it down in his studio yeah. and gave his vibe. And that's the story of the optimistic, August Green's optimistic, and then the and remix. Then the remix. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs>